Hi Taurus, welcome to your November How They Feel Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sun and Light Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Taurus, let's see what's going on. We're looking at whoever's on your mind, the person of interest, whatever your situation may be. We're looking at how they're truly feeling at this time, what's going on with them, their possible next moves and love messages so welcome in taurus hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time taurus sun moon rising venus male or female general collective rating only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip it switch it when you need to cross watchers could be a reading for you all right taurus let's see what's going on everything you need to know is down below your playlist is down there and the link to my other channel Kind of a new channel if you did not know um play uh playlist your playlist for that channel and the channel's link all that's down below you can check it out if you like to and i'll tell you what i do over there in a little bit if you have not checked it out yet all right taurus what is going on with your person so we have goddess of the moon boy this has been coming out a lot indecision and financial constraints i'm going to get you one more since these have a lot of repeating cards victory so, so let's see, we have uh, 52, which is seven, and then we have eight, so that's progression. And then we have 13, which is four, which is stability. And then we have 28, which is 10, completion, new beginnings. Eight is about travel, action, movement, infinity. We have seven, divinely guided spiritual energy. So I kind of feel like here, um, Taurus, uh, your person may be going through some financial worries right now. Um, they could be not sure what direction their life is going in right now because of this financial constraints. I feel like they're trying to listen to the intuition, higher knowing about what to do in their life right now, what path to take. They also could be... Um, now, if your person, say they're at a job right now where they're not happy they're not getting worth what they're paid they could be making a decision to either accept a new job or look for another job it may include moving away or traveling so they're a little indec indecisive here about what direction to go in to stay here with you or to move on to something better uh maybe career wise or financially but we do have victory here. So somehow they're going to get some kind of victory here. Maybe you're a little worried like, okay, if they're considering moving away or taking a position that may be a little more of a distance or maybe they have to travel and you're like, I don't really like that. You know, what does that mean? Does that mean that they don't really care? Does that mean, you know, if we split up, we split up or whatever it may be. This could be a newer connection or maybe, maybe it's a connection you've been in for a while. So I feel like there's a chance here of somebody moving away and possibly fear of this like being could be like the end but we do have victory here so i feel like they're trying to listen to an intuition higher knowing with this goddess of the moon there's a little fear so they have a little fear here about what direction to take so they definitely have a path in front of them choice here maybe they've been offered like a really big job at a really big corporation that's at Maybe it's at another state or maybe it's it's just a distance away and maybe they may stay there throughout the week and then come back on the weekend or something like that. And you're like, I really don't like that, but we do have victory here. So I feel like they want to be more successful. Whatever they're doing now, I don't feel like they're successful at all. They're trying, you know, this is about intuition, higher knowing, but it's also about, you know, fear of the path ahead, illusion, um, so you could be feeling a little illusion right now like I, I just don't get it why would they even consider this and like ruin our connection or our chance of progressing and being more serious or having a life together huh so they're definitely at a crossroads oh boy all right taurus so let's see where this is going they're at a big, big crossroads here, and they're hoping their intuition is going to tell them what direction they should go in. Now, that goddess of the moon, so I don't know if somebody, moon, I don't know if somebody here is Pisces or Cancer, has it in their chart. All right. Let's see, Taurus. Let's see what this is about. Or Taurus. 
course on my other channel I do four quick 10 minute readings per month and you get more general readings so you get money and career you get um, what you need to know right now spirit message in your next big change a little little different there so all the spirit messages are out now for November and the big change readings uh, should be coming out soon if they're not out already so if you want to check that out yeah ten of Pentacles in reverse so let's see six of cups five of cups nine of cups wow so they're definitely wanting wish fulfillment to hear but then they're feeling distraught about the change because of the connection with you. Then I feel like this energy, like then they just don't know what to do here. They're definitely thinking about you, the connection with you, the possible future, you know, what you've shared already about possibly, you know, starting a family. But the Ten of Pentacles in reverse says right now they're not in a stable, grounded place. They're not. Again, that's the financial constraint. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're not in a good place right now financially. Career-wise, I don't think they're liking or loving what they're doing right now. They're needing change in that aspect. But the star is, a, you know, they're wishing and hoping for something better. They could be trying to find something more local. Now, this sounds very specific, so I mean, may not be for everybody, but, you know, try to fit it in your situation if it makes sense. But, you know, maybe they're wishing and hoping to find something else locally so they don't have to move as well. But this is, you know, the trying to remain hopeful and optimistic, but it's about dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be. I definitely feel like the connection, they feel the connection with you is something meant to be. This is very healing. Nine of Pentacles. They just want to be stable, secure. Now we have two nines here of independent energy, um, but I feel like they just want to be successful and abundant and not have to worry feeling constraint so they're struggling with this five of wands conflict ace of swords so this is divine clarity successful new beginning um so they're waiting for some sort of clarity here so they're definitely struggling with this whether it's spiritually internally um something here but that is successful new beginning and we do have victory right here clear-cut communication as well oh boy so Taurus let's see I do see here Aquarius uh, let's see it's about it so far all right so in or cancer Pisces over there oh that flipped out reversed page of cups in reverse which is not really all right so what is that here for They're not really feeling, um, they're not happy or in a good place at all. So they may be a little depressed. They may be a little pessimistic in the way they communicate, the way they talk, the way, you know, they are emotionally. Ace of Pentacles. They just want something stable, grounded, and offer. I feel like they're waiting on an offer. They may have two offers, and they're trying to figure out which way to go. Yeah, two of swords trying to make a decision here. So we have the devil showing up in the six of pentacles which tells me um could be a toxic environment for them whatever that means um i'm feeling more like career at work doesn't have to be could be something else i mean ten of pentacles reverse could be divorce maybe they're recently divorced but i also feel like they can't deny the strong fiery connection with you but they may be sitting in a little bit of a negative toxic energy right now because they're not happy in the way their career or their finances are going right now they just want balance six of pentacles in their life so they're making a decision here trying to figure out new path new beginning and i just feel like they are very very they're very unhappy with this page of cups i don't think it's anything to do with you i don't i feel like it's everything else in their life so I do see here uh, Pisces, Capricorn, Ten of Wands. This is weighing heavy on them. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Oh my gosh. King of Wands. Maybe they want to be a leader. Maybe, you know, they're tired of being just an employee. They want to lead. They want to be maybe a business owner, entrepreneur, someone of high, I don't want to say high authority, but somebody who 
is very successful as well. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is not good energy. They they not sitting in good energy right now. Judgment. So they're making decisions here. This judgment card, Scorpio energy. They're definitely in the energy of releasing something. Doing life review, relationship review, release, final judgments, decisions about endings and new beginnings. It's very hard for them right now. Oh my gosh. So, you know, I don't know if this is a connection that actually got off the ground or if you were just dating. Or if they are divorced, you were hoping they would stay and choose you. But maybe they're considering a new path, a new career and moving away. And you're like, oh my God, they move away. I thought they felt something towards me. I may never see them again. I'm definitely feeling that, that energy around this some way somehow all right so let's see what else is going to come out here for Taurus what else is going to happen here for Taurus definitely have nine of pentacles nine of cups two single energies so I feel like two people who are single hierophant they want a big leveling up here that can be about marriage commitment that's about big change as well uh, learning, growing, expanding, you know, it's about tradition, moral standards, values, leveling up. They want to level up their life in a big way, that is for sure. Fate, destiny, wheel of fortune, 10 endings, new beginnings. Fate and destiny, something fate and destiny's going to, I feel like they sense it, they feel it, they know it. Something's coming in for them or something destined's about to turn turn of events or something's going to happen here like there'll be a big leveling up something going in their favor let's see what else here that is like an expansion with the wheel what else what's coming in with the wheel for them hopefully it's something good and your connection to them can progress so let's see page of swords this could be them you know um networking socializing community uh putting their resume out there searching like they're searching for something as well trying to gain truth and clarity they could be spying on your social media just saying queen of wands that is kind of like that leadership energy we did see the king of wands earlier so it's a match there's no denying the connection between you as uh, even if it's physically definitely being highly attracted to each other and the two of cups soulmate union here so even though they're kind of deciding what they're going to do with their life moving forward, they're still spying on your social media. They still are highly attracted to you, find you spiritually, uh, spiritual, creative, inspirational. And they definitely could see themselves with you here with the Two of Cups. Oh boy, so we have Aries, Aquarius, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Taurus. Ace of Cups, they definitely could see them falling in love with you. Definitely here. In the Sun, happiest card in the deck and the Six of Wands, success and victory. So there's the victory right here. Six of Wands and victory right here. In the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Illumination, healing, growth, expansion, love, happiness, joy. So we have Leo showing up here and Nine of Pentacles. Again, oh, that's the six, six of Pentacles right here. I thought it was the Nine but here's the Nine of Pentacles anyway. So we have Leo showing up. Oh boy. So let's get a little more here. See what's going to change for them. What decision are they going to make? Are they going to communicate? Judgment. So yeah, they're going to make a decision here. That can be life, uh, soul contracts, um, things coming into order. Hermit, single energy. Trying to gain clarity, figure things out. So there's a big change coming. I feel like as they're trying to decide which way they should go, and they're trying to figure things out, all of a sudden, boom, a big shift happens here with the tower, death, endings and new beginnings, transformation, and the king of swords. Hmm. Why is that here? The lovers, <laughs> Gemini energy, Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, and that is that indecision right there. One more, Two of Pentacles. 
again, a lot of twos, king of wands. I'm feeling like they may actually choose the connection over you rather than choosing um, like a new direction in life or a new career path. Because the fire, the intensity, the love, the passion, they, they just highly attracted to you. I feel like they may just wake up here and get it. Like, wow, you know, I do see the connection with Taurus is so transformational here with the death card that what am I doing? If I, like, leave and go away that, you know, I'll never know what could be. So I think they get in with the King of Swords, divine clarity here. Communication. So we have Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio season right now. Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Again, two cards of Scorpio season. So something definitely is going to happen during Scorpio season here. As they're trying to go within and make this decision, they have a light bulb moment. <laughs> Awakening here about the transformational energy that you brought into their life, the connection with you, and it's like they get it now. They're holding the sword of truth and clarity. So they were struggling, struggling, struggling and confused, but now they realize hey, maybe, you know, they are your divine masculines, a divine connection. And here comes communication with the eight of ones. And we have the emperor, which could be a leader. Uh, they may have some ideas about starting like a business together or something like that. Because that's what this can represent as well. We have Aries energy there. So let's get a little more. I want to see... How they're going to communicate. We just see the Eight of Wands. It can be forward movement, text, phone calls, Cupid's arrows, communication. You have four major arcana right here. Or they do. So this is a major, major decision for them. So they're about to embark on a major decision in their life. And I'm feeling like they're going to choose love over money or success or something else and actually that will be more victorious for them than going after money or fame or fortune all right let's see Taurus seven of wands eight of swords so even though they're feeling stuck you know here in the seven sorry if you hear my stomach rolling Queen of Pentacles. They see you. That is Capricorn, but that could be your Taurus. They see you as someone grounded, stable um, as well. You would make a fantastic partner. They know that. Three of Wands about choosing their future ahead. And soulmate. So, yeah, I feel like they're going to choose soulmate love over fame, fortune, whatever that means for them. This is divine alignment. This is Patience, healing, balance, soulmate, you know, soulmate alignment at just the right time. Healing, past lives, divine alchemy, things meant to be. Future is with you, with their soulmate. They get it now. And you could give them all the riches they ever need, not running after fame, fortune, money, whatever that is. They were feeling stuck, but now they get it. They might have a little walls up here with the Seven of Wands. A little defensive, but uh, they get it now. So we have Sag and we have Capricorn, or that could be you, Taurus. Three of Pentacles. Grow, growing, building, working, expanding. King of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. There's a little bit of stress here, but Justice. I'm feeling the Three of Cups is about celebrating, courting, dating, getting to know. Soul contracts here, things meant to be with justice, getting what we deserve. They're stressed out. I think if they kept, keep working hard, whatever they're doing now, they may actually rise up where they are now. Maybe they finally realize that, you know what, maybe I'll just stick it out. And I think eventually they will be victorious and rise up wherever they are now. Or they might may find something else. They could be learning something new with the Three Pentacles. It's definitely growing and expanding. So I definitely, they can't deny this whole contract here. So I definitely feel like, um, yeah, because look at this. We have the Eight of Cups about walking away, the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Empress. So even the thought of walking away, maybe never seeing you again, Libra Taurus here with the Empress, they, it, that's just o too overwhelming for them. Too overwhelming for them. Wow. So let's see, seven, eight, you could be hearing something eight days. 
Um, let's see. That's 15, that's 6, 9, 14, 5, 14, 5. I don't know. I, I'm just feeling like soon. Definitely by maybe Capricorn season. Maybe even 8 weeks, 8 days. That they're just going to reach out. Um, I feel here. Maybe you know them through work somehow, some way. Um, as well. It's not really telling me like how they may reach out, but I definitely feel like they're choosing, they'd rather be victorious in love than victorious in money because there's such a strong connection here. Emperor, yeah, rising up to the occasion here. All right, so let's see. So the next move is them choosing love over money or stardom or success or victory or um whatever that may be all right but i think they're going to be fine i think they're going to rise up you know learning something new finding something new or whatever whatever they're doing now i feel i feel like all the riches they could ever want now they get lies within you not something else that they're seeking here all right so taurus Let's get you some messages from him. Or Taurus. Mirror. Reflection, shared feelings. You. All they think about is you. All, it could be a twin flame connection. Doesn't have to be. But they share the same feelings as you. They want you to know that. Illusions. Clouded judgment. Unbalanced in. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know if that's a misprint. Anyway, they know that they were. They want you to know that they were feeling definitely. Um, illusion, you know, their judgment was clouded. They were unbalanced, but now they get it. Clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching. I definitely feel like even through this, they couldn't let you go. They were watching your social media. They want you to know that they haven't let you go, and they hope that they have that you haven't let them go either. All right, Tara. So let's see what else. Lost, grief, sorrow, pain. Yeah, I feel like. They want you to know that the thought of moving away, never seeing you again, would bring them great uh, sorrow and pain and grief. And I think they would regret that. And they finally, finally realize that now. Clashing differences, incompatibility, conflict. Hmm. I don't even feel like that belongs here. Maybe at one time you clashed about, you know, there could have been some arguing about um, disagreements about the choices they were making or what they were considering. And they want you to know that um, they regret that as well. All right, I feel like, why is that here? Just one more. Taurus. Tension. Turbulence. Argument. Stress. Wow. Well, that confirms that then. <laughs> he, they know it caused a lot of tension boundaries no drawing the line so so they know they kind of were drawing the line and maybe saying no putting up boundaries especially with the seven of wands here but now they want to uh soul growth they definitely want to you know see where the soulmate connection can go they need to come into self-harmony and you bring them a sense of nourish and comfort that is for sure that is for sure so yeah, we could be getting an apology as well. Return forgiveness and gifts. Wow. So I kind of feel like here, Taurus, um, and I just saw shallow. So they could have realized they were kind of shallow for, I mean, of course, you know, everyone should try to rise up. Maybe it was for the wrong reasons. Maybe it was just for money. I don't know. But I feel like now they know that nothing, nothing could replace the rich, richness, the success, the victory they could have with you and love and this connection, other than just going out there, moving away, never finding out where this could have went, having, you know, that regret of what could have been for money, success, or whatever that may be. And I think they're going to choose love over that, definitely. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. It's, like I said, it seemed very, very specific. So anyway, Taurus, wishing you the best and everything you need to know is down below your playlist here your playlist on my other channel and that link for the other channel as well. So wishing you the best, Taurus, and I shall see you next time.